poor Fred, his hair is all messed up. He had all of his anchors for his connection pointing in a different direction, okay? So it wasn't, they weren't turned in on what we call the divine line or our cosmic divine loop. He had them pointed in different directions. And you know, that works, right? It works. Um, but what happens is, is when all of that energy comes in, it wipes, kind of wipes the slate clean. And when it wipes the slate clean, everywhere that you've been pointing your direction um, or reading your directions to access your source, God, source, creator, whatever you want, right? Everywhere that you've been trying to access that, that is not internal, gets kind of rebooted, right? And so now your hands are just like, oh, I don't know where source is, right? So, you know, we, when that happens and we try to connect, it's kind of like, okay, here it is. I'm going to go connect and I'm going to go find source. And your energy tentacles, your anchors are going out here to find where you used to connect with source and it's not there anymore. So when it's not there anymore, that can lead to feelings of separation, disconnection, um, feeling lost, or, um, you know, whatever, whatever story your mind creates about that. So what we do is we teach people how to realign their connection because your connection isn't out there, right? Your connection is in here at all times. So when you pull your anchors, your orientation points or your reference points, off of the outer world, right? Like my connection is not here, it's not here, it's not there, it's not there. It's all in here, hands on self, right? Or anchors on self. And, you know, for some people, you use the heart space. Um, we call it the divine line. It's, um, is the process you teach the same for everyone? The process you teach is for everyone. It's for everyone. Because when you have your anchors and your reference points and your orientation points in on you, in on your divine line, where you and source reside in the body, in the form, in this life experience, it doesn't matter what comes through energetically after that or what challenge you face after that or even during that because your alignment with that source is solid internally when it's external like um a lot of people use money this is why we do money a lot of people use money as their source a lot of people use love as their source it's opposite it's going outward right? So what happens is, is when those situations change, when you're not making money or you don't have the partner, you don't feel the love and you don't feel whatever that money was giving you, that validation or that worth, right? Because you've been looking for them externally. When you bring that anchor back in and you're activating your worth, your self-love, everything that you need, want or desire, internally and making source your kind of supplier if you will <laughs> of that right then you have all of those anchors and you have all of those reference points internally on you so anytime that there's a shift or there's a change or there's something that happens in the you know astrological biosphere you're never lost you're never feeling disconnected because you're locked in on your true source, which is, you know, your whatever you want to call it, spirit, God, source, creator, inner being, soul, whatever, whatever terminology that you want to use, okay? Anytime that you're reference pointing, orienting, or anchoring into that source as being your supplier, if you will, um, then it doesn't matter what's happening around you or what situation is occurring, whether how dramatic um, it is, because you're, you're still anchored in on your line. Does that make sense? You're still anchored here. 
when you have your orientation points, your anchors and stuff externally, not in on your heart, not in on your divine line source supply chain, when things happen externally, that's when we panic because it's like, where did it go? Right? And it's kind of like source coming in and saying, here are the downloads. I'm pulling all of these false kind of anchors off. Now you're not anchored into where you're supposed to be and you have to reset. Okay. Yes, it makes sense. Okay, cool. So really quickly, if you want, there's only four people on here. If you want, we can do a quick energy process to help you re-anchor all of your anchors off of the outer world or the material things and bring them back to your energy self, your soul self, your God self, your creator self, whatever you want. If you're, if you're wanting to do that, let me know in the comments. I would never facilitate anything um, that you didn't want. If you were on the line and you're just curious and you want to do it, but you don't really want to receive the energy, um, that's okay. When we start to run the process, you can just say in your head, I'm just going to listen to Elizabeth. No, thank you. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. If you feel anything, you have to follow me. That's the rule. <laughs> if it works, I get the follow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just teasing. You can do whatever you want. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Um, and if you've never worked with me before, it, it'll be a really interesting experience. But if you've done the work, or especially if you've done the last recalling of your power video that I did that kind of went viral, um, you'll it's kind of like the same process, okay? So here's the really cool thing. This is not something you do with your brain. How cool is that, right? So we're going to access that energy self of yours, uh, that soul creator, whatever you want to call it, right? Um, to do the work for us, okay? So just take a moment to kind of close your eyes, settle in. I know it's hard with the phone. I know maybe you can put me down somewhere or prop me up it, uh, or sit on your lap, whatever you want. I don't see everybody putting their phones in their laps, <laughs> okay? And just close your eyes for a minute. And we're going to shift that. And for some of you, this will be a huge shift. And for some of you, it may not, right? It may not click until a day or two later. And that's okay, all right? So just take a deep breath in. Close your eyes. And I want you to imagine, like, when I'm saying or facilitating the pieces, I want you to imagine, like, you're sitting there writing, like, you're a waitress writing down the order as I say it. But you're really sending it up high to your source creator being, okay? So you're not doing the work with your brain. Half of you are not even going to understand half the things I'm going to say in about two seconds, okay? So you're just kind of reiterating it and saying to your inner being, um, do, do what Elizabeth is doing. And you can repeat it in your head. Um, I'm inviting you, right? And repeat, and repeat it in your head. And this way, you're actually, I'm just saying the words, but you're actually kind of giving the order, if you will. Got it? All right. Let's do it. Okay, deep breath in. Here we go. So I'm going to invite you at the level of your, I'm going to call it higher self, energy self, source self, God self, whatever you want to call it, at that level, and at the level of your body's energy self and your teens, which is an energy consciousness that surrounds you in another dimension, all three of you are actually doing the work. And if you have guides and believe in guides, bring your guides in. Otherwise, you can just send it straight up to source. So it goes, I invite you at that level of your source self, your higher self, your team, your guides, whatever, body self, to engage and locate, to work with your energetic fields and your guides to the degree that you so choose, to locate all of your divine anchors, orientation points, and reference points for where you are orienting your connection with your divine self, your God self, your source self, your creator self, whatever you want. Okay, so for in a minute, you just make that command. 
And that sounds like, okay, I'm asking my source self, my team, my guides, whatever, to engage and locate my divine anchors, my orientation points and reference points for how I anchor in and orient myself in on my divine line. Okay. And then we're going to invite you at that level to return and call back all of these anchors, orientation points, and reference points for everywhere that you've been anchoring or reference pointing externally on your outer world, the material world, whether it's on money, whether it's on people, whether it's job, love, relationship, doesn't matter. There you go. To locate that and now kind of like bring them all back. You're not doing it with your head. Your energy self is doing it. Lift all of those orientation points as anchors, as reference points up and off everything and everyone. There you go. There you go. Woo! And bring it back to you onto your divine line, heart space, heart center, inner being. In a clean, cleared, recalibrated, whole and healed state. And into this current breath of now and beyond. Anchoring in those reference points. Anchoring in those anchors. Those orientation points. In on you. In on your flow. On your source. On your being. Internally. In the body. I'm using the word in repetitively on purpose because you were out. So now we want to bring them in, 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 in. Here we go. Whew. <laughs> I had a late bloomer there. Whew. Here we go. Activate all spiritual lessons of connection on how to create connection, how to find connection, how to orient connection, how to anger connection. In, in on your, what we call the divine line. You could use your heart space. <sighs> there you go. And then update all of your identity grids, your personality grids, always in which you perceive and are perceived in the world. Same for your body, your team, your guides, if you so choose. <sighs> And now, when you go in and you look for that inner connection, don't open your eyes yet. When you look for that inner connection, just relax and breathe. On your next deep breath in, I want you to reference point, locate, go in to that heart space, that divine line, and sense, see, perceive, or feel however your senses work that connection. <sighs> 